Russian President Vladimir Putin has warned the West of a risk of nuclear war if Western countries escalate the ongoing conflict in Ukraine. In his annual address, Putin warned the West of tragic consequences if the West sends its military contingents to Ukraine. Now, doubling down on these comments, the Russian president said Moscow has weapons to strike targets in the West. They're talking about the possibility of sending NATO military contingents to Ukraine. But we remember the fate of those who once sent their contingents to our country. But now the consequences for possible interventionists will be much more tragic. We also have weapons. They know about this. As I just said, we also have a weapon that can hit targets on their territory. And they should understand that what they are doing now, trying to scare the whole world, it does risk a conflict with nuclear weapons, which means the destruction of civilization. Don't they understand this or what? Now, Putin has also announced that the deployment of advanced weapon systems, including hypersonic missiles, and that it holds military advantages in Ukraine. The hypersonic complex Kinzhal is not only in service, but is also being used with high efficiency to hit especially important targets during a special military operation. The Zircon, sea-based hypersonic missiles, have also been used in battle. These missiles were not even mentioned in my 2018 address. But this system is already deployed. Avangard, intercontinental range hypersonic blocks and Parasvet, laser systems, are on combat duty. The tests of cruise missiles of unlimited range, Buravestnik, and unmanned unwater vehicle, Poseidon, are also complete. These systems have confirmed their high. One can say without exaggeration, unique characteristics. The Sarmat ballistic missiles have been delivered to the troops. We will soon show them in the areas where they will be put on combat duty. Now, in response, the United States has condemned Putin's remarks, calling them irresponsible rhetoric. Washington said it is no way for the leader of a nuclear-armed state to speak. So it is not the first time we have seen irresponsible rhetoric uh, from Vladimir Putin. It is no way for the leader of a nuclear-armed state to speak. Uh, we have communicated in the past privately and directly with Russia about the consequences of the use of a nuclear weapon. Um, that said, we do not have any sign that Russia is preparing to use a nuclear weapon, and we will continue to monitor this carefully. Putin's nuclear warning appeared to be a response to the French president. Earlier this week, Emmanuel Macron said he did not rule out sending troops to Ukraine. Now, that stance was quickly rejected by the United States, Britain, and other leaders of Europe. And after an uproar over his comments, French President Emmanuel Macron said all his comments on the Ukraine war were weighed, measured, and carefully thought out. He also added that everything that is necessary must be done to ensure Russia's defeat. From impeachments to inaugurations, if it's a political story, we are on the scene. The race for the White House is heating up. We're beating Biden. How dare he say that? If it's breaking news, we're live with the latest coverage. From the White House, the State Department, and Capitol Hill, we know the issues, but above all, we know the players to bring you the latest in-depth analysis on all the key stories that we're covering. I'm Eric Ham. Join me from Washington here on First Post America.